Hey, so what is up guys? It's your boy Jam and usually like always I hopped on World War 3 to record a video like every day like I try to do and try to do and I realized there's less and less servers but I decided to click on apply filters and bam it popped up and I found two matches one with one out of 20 and one with 20 out of 20 and I decided to click on the 20 out of 20 and of course it's servers full duh um I was hoping maybe it was like glitched out or something so I decided to click on the one out of 20. I decided to click on the one out of 20 and it was cool. It was fun. I didn't mind playing even if it was just like a 2v2 or a 3v3 and then it went back down to a 2v1. This game is mad fun. I'm still learning how to do the basics. Um, I just found out you're able to free look. But besides that, See, like right here, I'm not good at that. I mean, probably he hip fired the whole time, and my dumbass decided to try to aim and then hip fire. And it was just really bad. It was just not great. But I didn't post this gameplay to show you that the game is dying or that the game is boring. What I'm trying to say is, I don't care how many people are in a game. I don't. I just want to play this game and get better. As you can tell, my skills freaking suck. I am horrible at this game, and I always like to say this. It's just because I'm a new PC player. This is my first time playing a PC game. This is a uh, first time playing an FPS PC game. I'm usually playing other games that don't require much skill with the mouse and keyboard and reaction time. But um, I recently found out that there's a World War III community out there in the Reddit. And thank you for a certain moderator on here that actually helped me figure that you guys were out there. And I thought on the World War 3 Reddit that there was only about a thousand people on there. And I was like, damn, there's not a lot of people. But thank God for this moderator. He's like, dude, um, there's a World War 3 community. I don't know if you knew this, but you should also post your videos over there. And I want to say thank you very much for that, dude. I'm glad that there's actually a bigger community out there that play this game that like this game. And I can't wait to see what everybody in the Reddit forums say about this game. What they have to say about this game. <laughs> if they're excited. I haven't even looked at it myself. I posted one little video about how I don't want the game to die. And it's getting good reactions. And I want to say thank you guys, honestly. And hopefully you guys, uh, like I said, it's a little video. and Nothing too crazy. It's just something on my opinion on the game that I like playing no matter what. How slow it is. How great it is no matter how crappy I'm doing, I'm still gonna keep playing this game just to get better. And uh, you guys are pretty great out there, honestly. And I'm glad that there's still a community out there that still wants to see this game thrive. And I think it's really great to see that an indie game like World War Three, people want it to survive. And I'm not the only one. I'm glad I'm not the only one that does not want to see this game die. And I'm glad, and I want to say. That's great, and I think you guys as a community, the World War III community, is a great community for games nowadays. There's a bunch of games that are out there that are indie that not a lot of people know about. And because of you guys, there's a reason why this game is going to live and thrive. And people are going to be like, what the hell, World War III, what is this game? And the funny thing is, is that I talk to a lot of people online. Uh, a lot of friends on Xbox, a lot of friends on PlayStation. And I'm like, hey, have you guys heard of World War III? And they're like, World War III? What, what is that? You mean the thing that almost happened a couple of months ago? No, no, no. The video game. It's made by an indie developer. And it's a little indie game that not a lot of people know about. And there's early access you got to pay for. And you could, you know, play this game. That's pretty awesome to play. And surprisingly, they don't know about it. And they finally watched it. Like, dude, now I want to buy a PC. Now I want to play this game. And it's like, well, yeah, you should. It's a pretty great game. It's a fun game. And like I said, for you community members out there that want to see this game thrive and live, awesome. And I'm glad I'm not the only one. I got into this game kind of late. I just got the game a week before it went off of Steam. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I decided to make the purchase. Who cares if there's one person in the whole freaking lobby? Get into the lobby. Get into the game. Play the game. Have fun while you play the game. Honestly, that's what I do, and I die a lot. I die a lot in this game. I really do, but it doesn't stop me from wanting to play and get better and just have fun. Like right here, bro. Fuck me, bro. Like, <laughs> like he's probably hip firing the whole time, and I'm not doing that. Like, I'm not learning really how to play this game. I'm trying to aim down sights when I shoot. 
and I gotta learn maybe sometimes you just have to free aim let go of the aim button and just spray and pray baby because I think I did do this later in this game and it was great but hopefully you guys did enjoy this video hopefully you guys do enjoy my commentary I may be a quite tad boring but if not thanks guys and I just want to say thank you to the community for also wanting to make this game live live and thrive thrive fuck me I can't I can't think about it right now it's too early for me boys I haven't had my cup of coffee I still got to make my cup of coffee and I'll see you guys next time peace